Hey there. In the last one, we actually showed you how to build a drop zone so you can drag and drop files in no problem. And we even showed you some validation. Now I made this a little bit better as well as its own method in the sense that I allowed us to have multiple file types to be very specific to the file types that I want. And you can look these up online and then this actually turns that into an array that we can just simply run this one command to to make sure that we have the correct file types. Because what I had before was just image all and that actually allows Photoshop images to be uploaded or PSD files to be uploaded, which you can test on your own. But I'm just going to show you really quick why I did it this way. So then when I come in this file drop here and we go into options and we go to all files and I click on the PSD and open it, it gives me this error, right? So whether or not it is a you know, rejected file or a non-rejected file, that error will come through. And that was the other reason as to why I made verify file, like the actual method itself, is so I could call it anywhere and then it'll just verify that, you know, these parameters are correct, right? So these parameters down here. Uh, but that's actually not the purpose of this video. The purpose of this video is to actually read one of these files using JavaScript's file reader API and then show that file. So in our case, of course, it's an image, so I can actually show it in line. I can actually show the image and see what it is that it looks like. But this verify file method, this right here is absolutely reusable and you can put it pretty much anywhere else as long as you have files that you're passing in as an argument. That's it. And then it'll just return true or false whether or not um, it is a valid file according to these parameters that we set elsewhere. Cool. So now what I want to do is actually create a way that I can read the file. So what I want to get is the image base 64 data. Like how do I actually get that base 64 data? This is an encoded data type that just is a different way to look at an image data. Um, you've probably seen this before and if you haven't, it's pretty cool. So. What I do here is I'm going to make a constructor first and foremost and just say constructor props super props this that state and we want to set our default state in here and I'm going to go ahead and say img source and put that equal to null just a, just a completely empty file here All right so that also means that down here I'm going to in my render I'll just do const and img source equaling to this that state, right? And of course, I'll just go ahead and say, if the image source is there, um, or rather if it's not equal to null, then I'll go ahead and just have my image or img source come through. Otherwise, we'll just leave it empty. Cool. So this will render out our image source, whatever that ends up being. Right, so a lot of times when you use source, you might be familiar with an external HTTP source or even a local or relative one, but oftentimes it's related to some sort of external source. What base64 allows us to do is to just render it from that string, that string of data, that base64 data will actually be rendered through on this source. Um, it's pretty cool. So how do we actually turn one of these files into that data. Now I've already handled the verifying portion of it, right? I've already verified that it is an image. So what I'm about to do should actually work. It should actually show me that. And you know, I'm also gonna do one more thing in here is I'm gonna put a div tag and I wanna actually just render out what that image source stuff looks like. Okay, so got my default state here. Now I need to change whatever the file is. So I'll go ahead and do const current file equals to files zero. Because again, we're not allowing multiple files here. We're just doing one because eventually we're gonna crop it to. Um, and in here, what I wanna do is, is manipulate whatever this current file is to make sure that I can add it to the state as a base64 image. And we do this by using const, well, I'm gonna say const reader equals to a new file reader. So in the JavaScript API, we've got this file reader method and I'm gonna go ahead and do reader dot um, add event listener for load. So once the image loads, it's gonna run this method 
Um, this method, of course, is going to be using, we're going to use an arrow method here, and then we'll just say false as the last part. So the arrow method, um, or the arrow function rather, is where we're going to actually set our state that's going to be related to this handle on drop. So whatever the state is, we want to change it to work with what's loaded in this reader. Um, and the event listener will be triggered after we do something like this. So reader dot read as data URL. And we pass in that file, so that current file. Okay, so, so what happens here? We drag and drop a file or click and upload a file. That file gets verified. If it's verified, then it's gonna go through this method here of it's gonna read it. Um, we actually pass it into be, being read here, but we add the event listener first so it knows that, hey, we should be listening for the load event. Once the load event happens, then what is happening in that load event? Well, it's reading it as a data URL or a base64 item, which we can see with the console log of reader.result. So that's the actual result that's coming from this read portion. And then we just do this dot set state. And I'm gonna set the state for the IMG source and it's reader dot result. Okay, again, reader is our custom uh, constant that we named it, right? You don't have to name it reader, but that's what we did. Okay, so you could call it something else like my file item reader, right? And then change all these. Just do that, because you should know that. If you don't know that, now you do. Cool. Okay, so we save that and refresh in here. Um, I do have this console error. Uh, we'll, we'll take a look at that in a minute, but let's go ahead and drag and drop a file in here. PNG file, I'm gonna load it in. H here is that string here, right? So this is what base64 and string does. So I have done that with this read data as URL. That actually changed it. Uh, but unfortunately, I don't actually see an image in here. So what I'm gonna do then is grab a screenshot image that I have to take a look. So I bring it in and there we go. So why is it that I didn't see the image before? Well, there actually was an image there, but if we actually look at this, it is a white image, right? So it's already white. So, and it's a PNG image, so it's transparent on top of that. Um, so just like this, this actually does have a white background and it is actually there and the image actually is showing up. So I'm not gonna do it, but you could add some styles in here to make sure that we have the preview image showing up. Um, there might be some things that you might end up doing, but the main thing here that we've successfully done is we've uploaded an image and provided a preview for it right there. So realistically, um, this is a way to preview a uploaded file of an image. Um, now, if you wanted to preview other kinds, like if you wanted to have it where it preview an image or you would preview like, a, like you have a default image for PDF files, like assuming that it's a PDF file, you could really change this method to being instead of being verify file, but rather verify image file and get rid of the alerts. If it's an image, then it's gonna send back true. If it's not an image, it's gonna send back false. And that's essentially what you would do to make sure that we could have other files on there. Um, in those files, you wouldn't necessarily use file reader. There are other ways to read other kinds of files, but again, that's not the focus here. If you wanna see that stuff, please let me know in the comments. Uh, but we now have this way of, of actually rendering out the image. Now, the other thing is I did leave the condition for this being null. Uh, but what I really want is I want the, the drop zone to go away. So once the file's dropped, I just want the image. That's all I want to see. Um, and then, of course, I want to eventually crop it and do all those things. But this file, this drop file here should go away. So that's a really simple fix. And it's just by adding or removing this drop zone into the condition that we created for the IMG source. We do that and then drop image, uh, click dropper, click image, whatever, um, drop slash click to upload image, drop image here, or click to upload, either one, or touch to upload, whatever, there we go, cool.
So we now have that portion working. Now it's time to actually do the crop side of things. Stay with us.